Hello everybody, I'm Peter Grob. And and now we finally close up you Tournament of Power Fires Power Scaling and Jesus has been a long ride. Now be no, since I'm pretty sure now, let me remind you news. Some of these are just my personal opinion. Name Magikarp can pass to love from Universe 3, but you get the drift. S some of these fires might be stronger, might be weaker. It's pretty debatable. I mean, it's not like we got really that well of power scaling S in the term of power. I have decided to predict. So, if you have different opinions, tell them in the comments below. Also, all of these images belong to Tau Animation, Akira Toriyama, and whoever. Uh, and whoever draw them. I do not own any of these images. All of them belong t to the right followers. Like I just told them. You about them. Also since I'm pretty sure some of you will. Read the comments. All these 10 fighters. Are either more powerful than. Gohan. Or at least a much. Or at least could possibly beat Gohan. Even if it's a close tie. So, 11 spot is because everybody else is freaking she powerful. It's not that he's weak. Seriously, have you seen some of these fighters? This power. There's a British job going to try to do this over and over again. This power was beating Gohan until Frieza used his finger beams to capture this power. So, yeah, this power is more powerful than Gohan. And, you know, his speed is so much more higher than even an like angel could do. And the fact that he, that Grand Prix needed to actually make a new one in later version, the new, later version. So, yeah. This boy is no joke. I mean, guy, he is a bit overconfident and he does have this somewhat of an evil aesthetic about him, even though he's not a villain. But still, he's insanely freakishly powerful and yeah, not exactly of someone you wanna fuck around with. Even if Magikarp kicked his ass pretty easily. The next one is Frieza. Yeah, with Frieza it's a pretty close match between him, Gohan and him and Dispo, but I feel like Frieza would eventually be able to beat both of them. Why? Well, I'm pretty sure if he doesn't get erased at the end of the tournament of power, I should probably grant this. These videos are being made after before the final episode comes out, and I'm pretty sure you can't really change the the outcomes that much. Maybe there will be big differences. I will make another video, but for now it's pretty decent, decent level, you ask me. So yeah, plus he. You, you know, at least shown the capability of bounding the God of Destruction power, which is much more than the R2 the R2 did. So, yeah, Frieza kind of deserves this power. I mean, it's not like he's a weak guy in any way. I mean, he def I mean, last time he battled Gohan, how he dominated him in his, in his first form, so he's not a weak link. In no, no way. So yeah, he deserves this spot, if you ask me. The next one is k -Fla. Seriously, how did I not notice the mistake I did with k and k -Fla names? I, I don't know. Now, k is up here because, for starters, she's a fusion between two Mary Sue's who are incredibly powerful. She went it pretty to Goku Ultra Instinct to beat, to beat her. Which is a lot more than the Gohan can do against her. So yeah, she's a freaking beast, even though she's a Mary Sue. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that she can defeat both Gohan and Frieza. And this one might be a challenge for her, but nothing that she couldn't defeat with her Mary Sue ass. So yeah, she's pretty strong and not a weakling in any way. The next one is hit. His time, his time skip can defeat, can defeat Gohan. This post speed would be a bit of a challenge for him, but nothing he could eventually defeat. 
he could defeat Faiza. So I think that was going to complete there, and he could defeat Kefla. Seriously, I'm pretty sure that he wouldn't exactly have a problem defeating Kefla. The reason why he's the sixth? Well, we didn't see that much of a upgrade with him against again in the turn of power, so we can't say if he's any bit of strong how much stronger he has gotten. And the next ones could and the next one could be a bit controversial. So yeah. It's possible that he's the top five, but for me he's personally in top six. So for now he so if he was show a bit more and show more of his power, he would definitely be in the top five. But fortunately he wasn't shown, so yeah, he fortunately isn't. The next one is Aniraza. It technically took six people to eliminate him. Although it did 18 sacrifice herself to keep 17 in, but still, it took five people, which means fully powered 17, golden foam freezer, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and Ultimate Gohan to take him down, which the only reason they were able to take him down was because this orb that that stabilized his mind that was cracked by 17. So, as far as we know, he could defeat them all. And again, all it took more than Ultimate Gohan to defeat him. So yeah, talk about co confirmed that he can defeat Ultimate Gohan. So yeah. Now although his time skip could probably defeat him and or at least shout those orbs things that could defeat him. But again, I'm pretty sure he's way too big. And we don't exactly know another thing we exactly seen hit like being able to like fly in that world or something that would allow him to do that. So yeah, Aniwaza definitely deserves this spot. Hell, now I think about it, if Universe 3 just did that, like combine thin pl a planet, every single person in one planet into fighter, into one fighter, and then do that ten times, they'll possibly have the most powerful team. Huh, I wonder why they didn't do that. I guess it'll be too big to cover a challenge, considering the fact that only four people and already they were so ta dangerous. But yeah, what will you do? The next one is Topo. He still wasn't able to defeat... Topo can defeat Gohan. We know that. That's not something you're gonna be complaining to me about. Now, his God Destruction form was also insanely powerful. Like how easy he, he was destroying everything. And it was freakish to see how dangerous it was. But, but the reason why he's not any higher is because Vegeta beat him, Goku can, be, can beat him, and Jiren can still beat him. Honestly, the only reason he's not any... So yeah, the only reason why is because we know the other, the three who are higher than him can beat him. And the next one is Vegeta. He can defeat... The, he can defeat, defeat Topo. Uh, unfortunately, he cannot. He, he wasn't. He probably cannot defeat Jiren. As far as we know, I mean, it's possible that if he healed one hundred percent and he, they went full power, he possibly could at least push with Jiren to his limit and possibly maybe win. I don't know. I'm throwing very lot of stuff in the wall, but it's a very very. Like it's one percent against ninety nine percent of chance of he may have maybe defeated Jen, but so far we don't exactly know. So yeah, he definitely demonstrated a lot of power and hell. He's one. Of, I mean, he was the only character whose actual stamina thing actually came to a, a close. I mean, seriously, he showed that he couldn't. That he, he actually had to self destruct after losing so much of his stamina, and he was still able to somewhat battle. So yeah, Vegeta's freaking powerful. You can't deny he's not that. And also, what the, did Gohan really show enough power to come fight against Vegeta? If you do, then you people are just in such denial. 
I seriously, I don't want you can even say it's possible. That's what you can't. Even Topo is, is one you cannot. And the next, number two is Jiren. The guy was a beast, the guy defeated him, the guy... It was basically almost unstoppable. His full power was unmatched until Goku went Ultra Instinct. Full, a complete form. And yeah, he can, he can defeat Gohan. He defeated Vegeta. Vegeta, it's possible he would lose to Vegeta if Vegeta wasn't so tired. I mean, he couldn't even go to Super Saiyan form for kind of loud. But yeah, he's shown power. I mean, hell, it, again, he might actually be, hell, he might be one, the only one who could possibly defeat him as free if they actually went my my idea and just combine every entire planets together the, with their fighters. So, yeah, he's a freaking beast and a freaking powerful one in that, in that fact. There's not a line from anyone. And the number one is... Goku. His complete Ultra Instinct form defeated Jiren. The only reason why he could eliminate Jiren is because... Is because, you know... The form went his side effect on him and... So yeah. The form, the new complete form just went... Just attacked him very severely. He couldn't do anything against that. How by the looks of the preview, he might even defeat Jiren's uh, in a way, or how it might just very well be the time consistency. I mean, what is it like? Half of a minute left in a tournament of power. So, yeah, Goku uh, was a freaking beast and shown demonstrated that he's definitely the most powerful one. Does don't the nine from this ca guy. No, and the other day, some of these were basically predict were predictions. Uh, I technically should make this video after the time manga because then it might be easier to power scale them. But since it was, I didn't decide to do that. I went with the anime because it would be more canon. So yeah. Now I hope you like this video. I hope you guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel for, for more videos in the future. Sure. And that's it. I cannot wait to see all you people next time. It's time. Bye.